She was uh, 22 at the time of the incident. Later, they talked about the men and the guilt. He was smaller than me. I could have jumped him. Could have, should have, would have. Could have hit, hit, kicked, slugged him hard. Sprayed a fire extinguisher in his eyes. Would have, if only I'd thought of it in time. Could have bashed his teeth out. Should have thrown him through the wall. This is for Annie Marie Edward. She was 21 at a time. 21 is very young, only 17 plus 4. 21 should be camping in Gatineau, backpacking and eat hiking, meaning the man of her dreams. 21 drinks cold coffee and works late into the morning on draft of a paper she really should have started last month. 21 dries up with her music, turned up loud, and worries where, she go, where she's going with the life of ours and whether or not she can pay off the phone bill. 21 thinks often of a house in a quiet neighborhood and a wedding dress with a nice headpiece or veil. Not too fancy, but not too soon, but not so very far off either. For Maud Aviernik, 21 years old, calls taking from the young ones. The man who killed 14 women on Wednesday had trouble relating to women and couldn't keep a steady relationship. No way, you might say. Well then, it's okay. Was he beaten as a child in high school? Was he wild? Was he reckless? Was he tough? Did he just need more love? Or was he bullied? Did they taunt him? Did they punch him? Did they punch him? Did his mother make him bad? Was she absent? Was his dad? And how is it no one saw it, no one caught it, no one taught it? He had difficulties in expressing his need to love and be loved. He was a very troubled individual who suffered a brutal upbringing. No way, you might say, well then, it's okay. Maurice Leclerc, 23. It didn't seem any different when his alarm went off at 6.30, like every morning, just like he does every morning. And when your father read a newspaper, put on his uniform, when he secured his gun in the leather holster, how was he to know he would walk through his daughter's blood towards her killer, lying shot through the, through the head in a third floor classroom, all in a day's work, all in a day's work, all in a day's work, not today. Anne-Marie LeMay, 27. You were just an every woman, nothing personal, Anne-Marie. You, ev you were every woman who turned her back, every woman who wouldn't let him buy her a drink, take her home, take her in his arms. Every woman on the street wearing a business suit and heels. Each one, he thought, was laughing at him. If he'd known you were one woman, one, wo one woman who liked to ride her bicycle in the spring, who sometimes woke up late at night with cravings for seafood who wore red Converse running shoes, who liked to bake and sometimes liked to hike. But it was nothing personal, Anne. Imagine no possession. For Barbara Marie Kluznik, 35, a three-page letter dated Wednesday, signed Mark, meant to explain, meant to make it make sense. And we could call him crazy and try to forgive. And we could call him full of hate and hate him right back. And we could fall to the ground and cry ourselves to dehydration. And we could start a candlelight vigil. And we could be afraid. And we could learn self-defense. And practice kicking a man in a marshmallow suit. And yelling the word, no. We could and we will, but it will never bring you back. Say, I'm a dreamer, but I'm For Maurice not the Lagagnier, 35. And the flags flew at half-mast. And the city was in shock and the country and the men were afraid for their lovers, wives, daughters, and the streets were a little quieter while your family and your sisters looked everywhere for wives. 